Hey friend, it's Bridget. This video is going to be a product review of a five-piece mechanical pencil set. This product was sent to me by Nick Pro in exchange for an honest review. So I will be going over everything included in this kit shortly. I will say just right off the top that this was by far the most comprehensive kit I've ever had the opportunity to try for a mechanical pencil. The accessories are abundant and I'll be going over all of them in a little more detail shortly. So let's go over what is actually included. There are, as I said, five of the pencils themselves. They range in lead thickness from 0 0.3 millimeters to 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.9, and 2.0. Obviously, the main difference between the first four is going to be the size or thickness of the lead. So you can think of that in terms of, like with a fountain pen nib, you've got your extra fine, fine, medium, and bold. That is how I would uh, relate these thicknesses, 0.3 extra fine, 0.5 fine, 0.7 medium, and 0.9 bold. Now, when it comes to the accessories, it's really just a one-stop kit. They've included refills for all of the everyday riders, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and 0.9. But since they're most commonly used with everyday writing, all of those lead refills are in the HB, which is related to the level of hardness with the graphite uh, or the lead. And that is the most common hardness for everyday writing. If you think of lead hardness in terms of a spectrum, think about it kind of like a number line dead center that we would call zero on a number line that's going to be our HB it's kind of the best of both worlds in terms of strength and smoothness and if we move to the right we're going to call that the H variance and if we move to the left we're going to call that the B variance now, H is easy to remember for me because H is equivalent to hard. B, on the other end of the spectrum, is equivalent to soft. HB moving to the right, you'll see other variations like 2H, 4H, 6H, and so on. Conversely, to the left, you'll see variants like 2B, 4B, 6B, and so on. So the higher the H number, the harder the lead is going to be, and that is going to result in a lighter uh, coloring of the lid or shading as well as less um, dust also less uh, blendable so on the softer side the higher the number the softer the lid is going to be and that will actually result in a darker appearance of the graphite you will have more of what I'm calling dust um, that can vary depending on the texture of the paper that you're using as well as the pressure that you apply when you use the pencils and because the lead is softer it's actually more blendable and although they included HB refills for the smaller thicknesses, the 2.0 holders, they gave a wider range here. So these can be used more for sketching or drawing. And they've included six pieces of HB. 
which is going to be middle of the road. They've included six refill pieces of 2H, a little bit harder, 2B, a little bit softer, and 4B. And these are all two millimeter for the lead holder. The difference in the sizing between the 0.3 millimeter and the 2.0 millimeter. Quite a significant difference in the thickness of the lead. So something else that they included, I'm very familiar with these. Uh, if you've ever done any artwork or sketching with charcoal type pencils, you're very familiar with this scale. But something that I've not ever tried in the past or been familiar with are the colored refills. So for the 2.0 lead holder, they also included 12 refills of colors. So we've got quite a rainbow here. Now I did contact Nick Pro via email and I told her that the only uh, problem or issue that I had with my set was that two of the colored leads, these two right here, arrived broken. Uh, thankfully the rest are completely intact and you can see it's quite a rainbow. You get the whole Roy G. Biv spectrum here. But when I emailed, um, I asked just out of curiosity what they would do for a paying customer should something like this happen because they did also extend a discount code for me to offer to any of my viewers here and she said that this likely occurred during shipment which is exactly what I um, assumed had happened already and she said that uh, this is rare but she said should it happen or anything else uh, defective happen for one of my viewers or a paying customer that they would definitely make it right via their customer service. Um, and depending on the level of defect, that might include a form of product replacement or partial refund or full refund. So I was happy to hear that their uh, customer service is willing to make things right if there ever is a problem that occurs. So I've been playing around with this kit for a few weeks now since I received it. I wanted to be able to give an honest review and not just a first impressions. But throughout my previous practice, I've only been using the lead that came with the 2.0, which is like a traditional graphite color. So I'm going to use some of the colored refills in this video for the first time today. So you will get to see what they look like soon. In addition to all of the lead refills in the kit, they've included a couple 4B soft white erasers. You can see I've already used um, this one quite a bit with some of my projects. It works very well. They've included several of the mini erasers that come within each pencil and see I've used this one quite a bit as well it works just as well as the larger eraser you just pop it out to change it and once this is quite worn down instead of going directly to a replacement you can pop it out and just flip it over to get the other side the last accessory that is included is a lead sharpener for the 2.0 leads. Let's try it in the pencil and see if it slips. Oh yeah. So the actual holder there is sturdy enough that the lead does not slip or slide. And if you are gentle, you can use this 
while it's still inside the pencil. Look at that lead piling up. So as it sharpens, you'll feel less and less resistance, and now it feels just slippery to me, which tells me that it is as sharp as it needs to be. I don't know if the camera is picking it up or not, but that little pile of graphite, my intrusive thoughts are making me want to just blow it right now across my office, but um, I'm not going to let them win. <laughs> So you would, I'm actually impressed. Well, there was some fallout, but um, you would just then dump this in a trash or ideally you would do that process over your trash can and not have to worry about the fallout. Super easy though. And I also appreciated that they sent two of those for people like me that will likely misplace or lose one sooner than later. So let's get into some actual sketching and using these pencils. I will say that my personal favorite feature of all of these pencils is the knurling on the grip. I love this. <laughs> Uh, it's something that I look for when I'm purchasing a mechanical pencil. It's just a favorite feature of mine. It's not only good for non-slip, I just love the way it looks. So glad they all have that. So this is going to be the 0 0.3. Now let's check out this rainbow. Ooh, I want to blow it across my desk. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to press the cap in and very easy to insert. Very nice. The operation is just very nice. And the case is also very nice. So if you wanted to take this with you out on the go for some urban sketching, you could just throw this in your backpack and be done. And we're going in with the yellow. I think this is a dark green. Got a lighter green here. Ooh, bright blue. And we've got a lighter blue. And we have a purple. And this is light. Almost like a, maybe more of a lavender compared to the darker purple. And then lastly, we've got what I believe is going to be our brown. So I could just keep going on and on forever with this, but let's just stop here. And I'm going to use the eraser. See if we can define our spots a bit. It is pulling some of the red off, but I would have to work at it quite a bit. So I did a lot of layering there for the shading. So let's, I'm not sure if the erasers are 
less effective on the colors than the regular graphite or if it was just because of the process I used. So let's try that out real quick and see. You might be able to get it to the complete white, but it would take more effort. And the darker ones, there's a little still left behind. So just something to be aware of with your projects. But the last thing I'm going to demonstrate is what the other leads will look like in terms of hardness. We're going to start with the 2H. Next we have our middle of the road HB. And we're going to move to 2B. And lastly, 4B. Oh yeah, I'm going to have to do some sketching later today. <laughs> and this is bringing me back to charcoal and even just some quick uh, poses or figure sketching would be fun. So quite the variation between the lids. Okay, so I believe that is about all that I have to demonstrate with this kit. My overall opinion is quite positive. And anytime I'm trying to form an opinion about a product like this in terms of a review, there's usually a few questions that I ask myself and try to uh, very objectively answer. And one of those questions is, had I purchased this kit myself instead of it being sent to me, would I have been satisfied? And that answer is honestly, yes, I would have been. Along similar lines, if something were to happen to this kit, would I repurchase it? Do I like it well enough to repurchase it? That answer is yes as well. But what is most impressive to me about this particular kit is the variation and the volume of all of the other accessories that are included beyond the five pencils themselves. So in terms of value and <laughs> what you get for your money or bang for your buck, so to speak. When I was first contacted about this kit, I checked it out on Amazon US. And at that time, the retail price for the entire kit was under $20. So I have paid more than $20 in the past for a single 2.0 lead holder in another brand that came with zero accessories. So in terms of value, I feel like this is exceptional. The colored refills were more fun than I expected. <laughs> this was just off the cuff, no preparation. If you were going to do a legitimate project and plan it out, there are endless possibilities here. So overall, very positive review. Nick Pro has formed a discount code for anyone that should be interested uh, in purchasing. So if that is you, please check the description box below. There will be a discount code listed as well as the expiration date and links in how to use it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking around. I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye y'all.